hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is real sports updates here back again with the another installment of our 2021 preseason preview um, and today's focus is going to be the uh, Kansas City Chiefs so uh, the Kansas City Chiefs finished uh, last season 14 and 2 um, they made it to the Super Bowl um, they lost to the uh, eventual Super Bowl champs the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, and uh, going forward, um, you know, it, it's no secret that these guys are, are going to be um, Super Bowl favorites again, um, especially in the AFC. Um, but there there are a few there are a few changes that could, um, you know, impact that. Um, so they basically got a whole new offensive line, um, you know, in, in that, that Super Bowl game. The Chiefs got embarrassed. Um, they didn't score a touchdown, um, but one of one of the 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 major um, one of the major sticking points in in that happening was their offensive line was decimated. They had so many injuries, so it was kind of a uh, patchwork offensive line. Um, they didn't play well. They they got their butts kicked all game long. Um, they weren't able to to, to protect uh, Patrick Mahomes. He got, I think he he was pressured like twenty nine times. I think that was like. A Super Bowl record you know that's that's quite a bit of of pressure um yeah so he was he was running for his life um the entire game but you know that was something that I the, the Chiefs felt that they needed to address um personally I felt like the offensive line was was fine it was just the the injury component um but an, an, another reason for for them you know getting a, a brand new offensive line was the uh, Patrick Mahomes um extension his his he signed that that big massive uh extension uh last year or was the uh, yeah I think it was last season um the beginning of last season um oh no no I'm sorry two years ago but uh the way that 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 thing was structured was it it gives him more money it gives him more money every season for the next um ten years I believe so his his salary cap number goes up every year so that's pretty much you know, you're taking away one, one player a year that the, 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 the Chiefs could get, um, you know, just based off, based off of his salary cap. And the, the deal was, was structured and it was, it was negotiated with, with the anticipation that the salary cap goes up. So, um, they, they felt like it shouldn't have had that much impact on it, but you know, the pandemic happened, um, there wasn't fans at the, at the, uh, uh, games last year. So, um, the revenue numbers did take a hit for, for, like everybody in the in the NFL so this is kind of a a it's kind of a red herring um that they weren't expected expecting to happen but it is happening and they got to deal with it so um you know his number did go up and the uh the the salary cap number didn't go up too much so um you know the Chiefs are going to have to they're going to have to continue to draft offensive linemen um probably every season um because they're not going to be able to go out and pay premium money for you know uh, pre several offensive line positions they they won't have they can go out and you know maybe 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 sign a, a good tackle or something but they won't have money to pay linemen um you know the premium premium amounts so they're gonna have to do their due diligence and draft well on that offensive line um and also the a thing i think that gets overlooked with with the with the chiefs that offensive line that was there last season before they got hurt they played well they were gelling together um and you know Patrick Mahomes is is he's he's obviously one of the best, probably the best quarterback in in, in football as of right now. But um, his play style is very unconventional. Uh, so you know offensive line offensive linemen know when they get to Kansas City they 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 have to learn they have to learn to block for Patrick Mahomes in in sort of their his own sort of their own unique way because he moves around so much. Um, he's unconventional. He he goes off script a lot. So. Those that might might be a a that might be something that that can keep their their um their early season success at like at bay a little bit. Um, I think they'll adjust, obviously, but you know if if it's a new new line, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to to learn how to block for him. You know, especially in 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 game situations. You know, it's it's one thing to do it in training camp and, and preseason and stuff, but they're gonna need game situations to get used to the way he plays. How he moves around um, and all of that other stuff. So 
but I think I think they'll get it together. Um, Andy Reid is 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 known for his offensive prowess, um, you know, and he he is he's a guy who has his offensive lines always jail. They always jail, and they always conform to the way that he calls uh, games. So I don't I don't see them having um, any long term issues, but it, it it should be something to to look at, have an eye on early in the season. Um, but you know, like I said, they're still, they're still probably the Super Bowl favorites. Um, they are, they're the best team in their division, um, in the AFC West. Um, even though the, the, the LA Chargers are, they're not too far. They, they've, they, they took, um, extensive steps to close the gap between them and Kansas City this, this past season. Um, so I think that's a team that could, it could, they, they could give them a little trouble. Um, in the division, it just depends on on depends on how well the 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 Chargers play. Um, you know, with the, with the new coach and new offense and all that stuff. But they could give them um, some trouble in in their division. But they're still the Super Bowl favorites. Um, you know, and they're gonna have. I think they're gonna have a, a, a chip on their shoulder. They they got embarrassed in that Super Bowl um, last season. It was just it was a beatdown. It was a um, it was a cold beatdown and and. You know, it it was a it, it it was just it got ugly really fast and 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 you know things started snowballing on top of each other and and so I think that the the embarrassment the taste of embarrassment is still going to be in their mouth so I think they're going to come out um, with the chip on their shoulder and they're going to want to prove people wrong so um, but uh you know they they do have some things to address though as far as defensively. Um, I think Kansas City is 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 a, is a is a really good team. Um, I think their offense is so good that they don't they don't necessarily play the best complementary football, but they don't need to just because their offense is so good and so explosive and and you know they they make plays all you know anytime they walk out on the field they're making plays um, and it's hard to keep them out of the end zone. So their defense doesn't have to be great. It, they don't require that of them, but if if they do struggle, if, if Kansas City does somehow struggle, if they have a rough patch this season, their defense is going to have to step up. Um, we've seen in the Super Bowl last year, um, they got emb- <laughs> they got embarrassed as a team. You know, you, their their defense got embarrassed as well too. They they came out and they looked soft. They looked soft because the the Bucks were committed to the run game and they ran the ball down their throats all game long. And there was nothing, there was nothing, nothing that the the, the Chiefs can do to stop it. They're getting pushed around up front, um, and it really exposed them as, as not being, you know, that physical on defense. Now, they, they got some players over there. They got some talent, um, you know, especially for the way that they, they like to play. Uh, you know, they, they do play the pass a lot because their offense is explosive. So when they do get on, on the field, um, they're normally leading. So, you know, they, they they play the pass a lot. They have a lot of pass rushers, um, and they have some pretty good, pretty good uh, defensive backs as well, too. But... You know, if 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 there's a game that's close or, or anything like that, they must improve. They must improve their run defense. They absolutely have to. Um, you know, it, it it could be a challenge. You know, if they get to the playoffs and they they play a Pittsburgh who um, seems to to have solved their their running back issues. If they play a a a Baltimore Ravens, a team who's known for running the ball, um, that could be a real issue. Just because I don't think that they're as physical as they need to be up front, you know, they have to be physical. They, they need to be physical. Um, and as far as the offensive side of the ball, I think the same thing applies. Um, Andy Reed, Andy Reed should, and I don't know if he will, you know, I, I know he loves calling, I know he loves coming up with these, these crazy plays and these designs, but they, they should run the ball. They should run the ball more. Um, it would take so much pressure off of, of Patrick Mahomes. These guys, it, it, it would take pressure off of their weapons, Kelsey and Tyree Kill, um, Demarcus Robinson. It would take so much pressure off them. They need to commit to the run game a little bit more, um, and you know that would help them. You know, control the ball better. It would help them on on you know the third down situations. You know, it 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 would just take pressure off the entire offense, um, and especially with the new offensive line. You know, you can start the game off and have these guys get physical at the line of scrimmage, you know, by running the ball. So, um, you know, but I don't know if I don't know if they will, though. I, I really don't know if they will. They said that they were going to do that last season. Um, 
and they did early on in the season, but they deviated from it. So we'll we'll see if they actually stay committed to the run game, which they should. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see. Um, they're still the best team in the AFC um, until somebody else, until another team comes and and, and knocks them off. They, they're still the best team in the AFC. Um, I still, you know, I I I I think that they. I think that they need to assert their dominance early in the season. Um, that Super Bowl, that Super Bowl blowout can have, um, it can have repercussions that can last for years. I think the the intimidation factor has worn off just just a little bit. Um, you know, I, I know that they're they score a lot of points. They 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 have you know, the most potent offense in the NFL, but that super, that beat down in the Super Bowl wasn't, that, 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 that wasn't anything that, that, that any team, um, can really deal with, you know, and, and, and be able to come back the following season and just say, Hey, you know, it was just a bad game. No, it wasn't just a bad game. It was a, it was a, it was a thorough beat down, um, of epic proportions. And it's not just something that you can just look past. they, They've got to come out and they have to assert their dominance um, if they want to stay the best team. If they want to still be considered the best team in the conference or or, or the league, they have to come out and establish dominance. They got to they got to they got to put teams away. They got to blow them out um, because that that aura of intimidation is not going to be there as much. You know, it might it might still be, but it's not going to be there as much. Um, the Buccaneers kind of they kind of gave everybody the 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 blueprint of how to beat these guys. Um, and it wasn't hard. It was a very simple game plan. But the blueprint, the the, the blueprint is out there. Um, and if you know you face a, a team who's physical on both sides of the ball, um, you know it 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 might give them flashbacks of, of what happened. Um, you know in Tampa. So you know um, they 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 just they need to come out and establish dominance. And I think if they do that early, um, if they do that early, then I I think they'll they'll be fine and and. You know they'll they'll be rolling like they were last year. If they're not able to do that, then I think there's kind of a little bit of a little bit of worry. Not I mean obviously not not too much. You have Patrick Mahomes, but there is kind of a little bit of worry, and that that intimidation factor is kind of wore off a little bit. Um, and the blueprint is out there to 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 beat this team. So um, that'll be interesting to see how they respond, how they bounce back from that. Um, because it it it, it, was, it kind of changed a lot of people's minds um, about the Chiefs. Uh, the 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 narrative and the conversation going into that game was, can Patrick Mahomes catch Tom Brady? And you know, is he going to win as many rings as Tom Brady? And you know, the game happened, and all of a sudden, the 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 narrative changes, and the the um, stories completely <laughs> completely changes. Now, will Patrick Mahomes ever win? Will he ever win another Super Bowl ever again after this? So. Um, it was two, two very, I mean, you know, two sides of a, of a coin, you know, um, and it was, it was, it's going to be a very, very interesting season for the Chiefs. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at them closely to see how they respond, see how they bounce back, um, and see if they, you know, they're able to, to continue their dominance of the, uh, the AFC, but, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so yeah, that, that's the, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, um. So yeah, don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe, um, share the video as well, um, and uh, let me know your comments in the bottom. Let me know if you agree, disagree, if there's anything I missed, um, just let me know. And uh, thank you guys for listening.